So we're going to do something on feedback connections. And the type of feedback connections are basically four. There are four types of feedback connections. Namely, one, the voltage series. Two, voltage shunt. Three, current series. And four is a current shunt. Voltage series feedback connection. I'm going to start now explaining a bit. Voltage series feedback connection. This refers to a connection where the output, the output is connected as whereby the output is connected as is connected in parallel it's connected in parallel and the feedback connection to the input is in series. Therefore, it reduces the output impedance and increases the input impedance. You can have a sketch of that so that you can understand it better.
part of the type of feedback is voltage shunt. In this case, the output is connected to the feedback circuit in parallel, sometimes referred to as shunt. and also to and also and also to the input lines in parallel therefore both the input and the output impedances are reduced. You can have a sketch of that. We're going to have the third one, current series feedback connection. this case the output line is connected in series with the feedback circuit and also to the input lines. Therefore, the output 
impedance is increased and this applies also to the input impedance. You can have a sketch of this diagram so that you can have actually figure out. This is our diagram looks like the lines here are connected in series because it only taps at one terminal of the input and the output lines. Current shunt. So we're going to have the fourth one which is current shunt. The output is connected in parallel. The output is connected in parallel to the feedback circuit while the input from the feedback circuit is connected in a series. Therefore, the output in impedance is reduced while the input impedance is increased. You can have a sketch of that so that you can be able to figure out
So when you look at this, the output here is connected in series, but the input here is connected in shunt. So generally, when you are interpreting the diagram is that the first part of the expression is normally con is an output end, and the second part of the expression is the input end. So if you take an example of current shunt, then if this is the first part, and this is the second part, it means that the, this one is connection to the output, while this one is connection to the input. So let us take a note that any time we refer to anything as current, is that it increases the inputs and the output impedances, while shunt will always reduce. So shunt means parallel, current means series. So can I want to have an example from there? have an example the figure below shows a diagram the figure below shows a diagram of a negative feedback amplifier diagram of a negative feedback amplifier. Determine Roman one, the magnitude of the input voltage to the gain without feedback gain without feedback Roman 3 so gain with feedback We now have the sketch of the diagram. So this is the amplifier, this is the VR. And this is the voltage source, which you have given us 10 milli volts. We shall have this as our feedback. Go start from here. To have a VF and the feedback factor beta here is given us 0 0.003, while the output voltage here, VO, is given us two volts. So this is the diagram is supposed to understand. 
A represents the amplifier and B represents the feedback circuit. So from the interpretation here is that we're supposed to get the magnitude of the input voltage, VI. The magnitude of the input voltage, VI. We can work out a diagram. When you look at this diagram, VI is supposed to be VS minus VF. So solution, VI is supposed to be VS minus VF. VF refers to the feedback voltage. And know that our feedback voltage is supposed to be the beta VO. So for us to get VI, VI means that we shall have VS is 10 millivolts minus whatever we shall be having here as VF is 0 0.003 multiplied by 2. When look at this, this is 6 millivolts. So we shall have this as 10 millivolts minus 6 millivolts. So VI then gives us 4 millivolts. When you are talking about gain without feedback, our second part of the question is the gain without feedback. This is the gain without an apostrophe. When you have that, then we are supposed to have this as our output voltage V or our input voltage VI. By looking at this, then we have identified our VI as 4. And we also have our VO as 2 volts. Then VO here is supposed to be given by 2 volts, and VI is supposed to be 4 millivolts. We put it here, we shall have 2 volts over 4 times 10 minus 3 volts. The guy that we get is 500. Gain has no units, and therefore it's just a number because it's an expression. So the Roman three of the question, which requires us to turn the gain with feedback. We know that from the from the formulas closed loop gain is supposed to this over one plus a better. We can recall this formula as the closed loop gain or gain with feedback is supposed to be open loop gain over the expression there. Then we already know this one is a given error with beta, we know that. So we can now get the closed loop gain comfortably. Then we shall have our expression as and this one will able is able to give us two hundred. So this is an example of an application of a Travian building in terms of the feedback. So this is an, another example. And uh, this example, we, can, we have to go through it. This is an amplifier that has a gain of 100. 
with an input resistance Ri as 2 kilo ohms and an output resistance Ro as 40 kilo ohms. We are determining the following when it's connected as a voltage series negative feedback amplifier with a feedback factor beta is 1 over 10. This is what we've been asked to determine, but the guidance factor is voltage series negative feedback. And we look at this, we're supposed to determine the gain of the amplifier. We know that the gain of our amplifier, given that this is a negative feedback, negative, uh, is a voltage series negative feedback, the gain of the amplifier, Roman 1 solution, Roman 1, gain is supposed to be, gain is supposed to be open loop of one. This is what we have as the gain. For Because it's a negative feedback, the denominator here is going to be a plus. If it was a positive feedback, it's going to be a minus. But this is a negative feedback. Then you have the denominator here as a plus. Then you have that. Then we shall have our gain as 100 over 1 plus 1 over 10. Then we shall have our final expression as our gain as 9.1. So we are going to determine the part two of the question, the input resistance. R of I prime. When you look at this, we are having as this as a voltage series. It was a voltage series negative feedback. With the voltage series, that means the output is shunted and the input is connected in series. Therefore, the input resistance, voltage series, negative feedback connection increases the input resistance. So our R of I is supposed to be R of I into 1 plus A beta. When you have this, then the input resistance we have in our, exp our equation was 2 kilo ohms into 1 plus. Our gain is 100, and this is 1 over 10. So we shall have this. Eh? When we have this, then we shall have this as 22 kilo ohms. As our input resistance. Then we're going to go to part number three. Part number three says we are asked to determine the output resistance. Since Output terminal is shunted with a feedback circuit. The output resistance. is reduced. Therefore, our R of O prime is supposed to be R of O 1 plus. Then 
the expression there for can is written as our output resistance was 40 kilo ohm. This is 1 plus 100 times 1 over 10. When you do this calculation, we are going to get 36.4. No, 364, 364 ohms. We're going to get 364 ohms. So when you look at this, the output is reduced, the input is increased. Then we're going to tackle the fourth part of the question. Reduction in distortion. Reduction in distortion. Reduction in distortion. Is given as distortion with feedback over distortion without feedback. Therefore, this is expressed as distortion, distortion the feedback is distortion over 1 plus. We divide by the distortion without feedback. From this formula, we can now take a multiplication of that so that we have this as distortion over 1 plus A better times 1 over D. This and this cancel. And we shall have our distortion as by replacing the values, then we shall have this as and we shall have our final answer to be 0 0.09 times. So the last part of the question was asking us to get the percentage change. Percentage change of gain without feedback. The change for us to get the percentage change is that we know feedback gain is given by small change in the feedback gain over the feedback gain. When you look at this and uh, we understand a change in gain with feedback and this change in gain without feedback, this one is normally approximated to be. Uh, that would be 1 over A beta. Because this is what brings us the change. When you have that in place, then it comes very easy, very easy to have this and as beta times. Huh? 1 over beta times, times the small change this is AF over the gain. And this is given as 1 over 100 times 1 over 10 multiplied by this was given as 20%. We have a final answer to be 2%.